going to be part 49 on the mongrel build. So today I'm just going to be bolting bits on, which is going to be a nice break from uh, grinding and welding. And I've got all the parts I need for the front suspension now, so I um, can actually get it all bolted together, stick some wheels on it, and then we can uh, trim the arches up and look at getting the fiberglass bubble arches bolted to the wings. We've got some parts here from uh, Mix Garage or Mix Garage if you're a bit more posh. Got some new track rod ends. Drop links, don't need those yet. And some new bottom ball joints. So thanks to uh, Mix Garage for those. They've given me a discount code for um, all of you lot watching. So anything you buy from them, you'll get a discount. If you order something online, um, just use the code urchfab and you'll get a discount. So if you need like, they do everything for servicing your car, clutches, brakes, oils, um, steering parts, like anything you would need to repair your car basically. So get on there. Urchfab discount code, um, might work over the phone as well. Not sure on that, but I'll stick a link in the description to their site. These are the uh, Jap Speed upper front arms, which I showed you in a video before. So we're going to bolt those on. And then I've got these. These are the lower arms from Destroy or Die. Proper meaty bit of kit. And these have like adjustment so you can extend the uh, track width. Got a hat. T-shirt. So he makes a lot of MX-5 uh, parts for drifting. Loads of parts I'd like to run, but for now, I mean, I'm not building this solely for drifting. I want this to just be a bit of an all-rounder that I can do like a hill climb in or, you know, a track day in. So I'm not going full drift spec, but this, these uh, give me the adjustment to widen the track and um, yeah, I mean, they're just a nice bit of kit and it's good to support um, smaller businesses. That's that. And then I've got a giant box of orange bushes. You need to get bushes in these and then just bolt the ball joints on. Bolt it all in, bolt the steering rack in. I know that some people say that you shouldn't put grease on these and some people say that you should, but personally, anything that makes life easier when you want to work on something is uh, a good option in my books. Most of it gets squeezed out anyway, so. Given how badly um, every bolt was corroded, I'm going to make sure that plaster everything in anti seize.
Alright, so I've got all the uh, suspension bolted in. Looking sweet. What I can do now is bolt some wheels on, just sort of roughly get the tracking right, and then we can check for clearance on the wheels and everything. And then we can uh, get the front back on, put the panels on, and uh, cut out the front arches and have a go at um, mocking up the uh, bubble arch. So I've just I've kind of pulled these all the way up to roughly where I think it's going to ride at. Um, just wound them all the way up and then we can see uh, what's what. So I've got the wheel set as far forward as it will possibly go on the uh, uh, with like adjusting the sort of caster and uh, I need to get the arch as far forward as possible because we've got longer wheelbase on this car than the original. So the back wheel I've moved back quite a bit but the front is also forward a touch so width is good. Alright so I need to cut Cut out all behind here, obviously all this I don't need. Um, this is going to kind of want trimming. I'll just follow this curve, try and maintain that sort of arc and just let it come round to where it wants to sit. And then a um, guy called Matt from Nostalgia Cars in uh, Taunton, he's going to be painting it. He builds like replica old school Jaguars and all sorts of high end projects. He does a lot of fiberglass work, so he said if I just get it to where it's bolted on where I want it, he will um, basically just make it all look good. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing with fiberglass, so I'll leave that to him. But I'm going to have like rivets or little bolts all the way around. This front one can actually be bonded on to the uh, wing but I want it to look as if it is bolted on and then the rear one is going to be bolted or riveted on because I don't want to be uh, fiberglassing a fiberglass panel to a steel panel and if, I ever, if a tyre ever comes off or something and, and breaks the arch I can just bolt another arch on not have to uh, worry about you know filler work and paint and that sort of stuff so
Right, so it's difficult to say exactly without having a tyre, but so I need to get some tyres and get them fitted, but I think that's about as forward as we're going to get it. I might have to just trim this off, maybe sort of like 20 mil back here, and sort of bring this down a bit, like follow the line so it doesn't curve in so much. Under here, the front, the bottom of the front panel sits here. So if it followed the bottom of that front panel, it would uh, clear and it would look correct. Right, so I'm happy with the uh, position. Just going to drill a load of holes, then we can actually bolt this on. We end up with a splinter. Get nasty splinters off this stuff. So I'm thinking maybe every 75 mil. Try that, see what it looks like. That might be a bit too close. We'll go with every 100 mil. Yeah, that should be good. Right, that's one side done. I've run out of bolts. Not actually going to use these. Um, not sure what type of fixing I'm actually going to use on this. But uh, I know there's going to be lots of people that hate hate the fact that that's going to be bolted or riveted on. But I really like the uh, sort of bolt on look. So yeah, I'll get the other side done off camera. Still got loads of suspension parts to buy for the back. Still got to get the subframe blasted, and then once I've got all that together, I can get the back done, back arches on, and I need to buy some tyres, get them fitted, and then we'll actually be able to drop the car on the floor, on its wheels. That's when you get like the first look at what the uh, finished car is going to look like. And yeah, if you feel like you want to help contribute, uh, to the car or you, or you want to get your name on the car when it's finished then uh, I've got a link in the description to a PayPal fund which I'm using to buy all the parts for the car at the moment. Also I'm thinking if there's any um, business owners watching and you think you might want your business logo on the car maybe you know in return for some 
funding to help finish it off, then um, yeah, send me an email. Thanks to um, Mix Garage again for those bits for the steering. Make sure you use that Urchfab code if you are gonna order any bits for your car and I'll stick a link in the uh, description for that. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one.